Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. We're going to talk about Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, yeah, we're going to talk about Final Fantasy VII Remake because Square Enix, if you post the ending to the game, the word on the street is that they will threaten uh, legal action against you. They will strike you. They'll send their, their people after you. They'll send the Turks after you. And that's what's going to happen if you post the ending. Why are they so afraid of the ending? because they've changed everything about Final Fantasy VII for Final Fantasy VII Remake, and they don't want people to know what's gonna happen. Uh, so we're gonna talk about that. Before we get into the video, please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants. We're over 100,000 subs. Thank you for the support. It's appreciated. All right, guys, so let's talk about this. Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, this is actually coming from uh, One Angry Gamer, so go check out the original article. I'm afraid to link to the original article because YouTube lately if I post links to articles on websites, they'll actually give me a community strike because they've got the bots running YouTube now. I'm not kidding, that has happened to us before. We got our first ever community strike uh, for linking to Cartoon Brew of all places. We got a community strike for that. And it took us a couple days to get that reversed because we linked to an article about uh, Universal for running the Trolls 2 movie. I mean, such a stupid, stupid thing. But speaking of threatening behavior, we're going to talk about Square Enix because I'm, I'm, I'm pretty salty about this. Uh, now, we do know, and we've talked about before, that Final Fantasy VII Remake is only Final Fantasy VII Remake in name only. It turns out that they're pulling a rebuild of Evangelion and that this is going to be probably a totally different story. It starts out the same, just like rebuild of Evangelion. The first movie was very similar to the first couple episodes of the animated series. Um, and then they they totally went off on a different path. And that seems to be what Square is doing with Final Fantasy VII Remake. Cool. So we're like, okay, we get that. We understand that. I had reservations about it. But you know what? Yeah, we'll plunk down 60 bucks for the game and we'll play it. And in fact, we've been playing Final Fantasy VII Remake on the gaming channel. Uh, if you go out to Clownfish TV Gaming, now we're just kind of getting warmed up. We've kind of been playing around with it uh, for the last year or so, but we did start posting videos of uh, me and Squid King playing Final Fantasy VII Remake. You can go out and check it out. Now, here's the thing. I don't know if I'm going to finish playing Final Fantasy VII Remake. I don't know if I want to do any more Final Fantasy VII Remake videos on our gaming channel because of this bullshit, which I'd heard about. Squid King actually told me about it the other day. He's like... Uh, hey, they're they're striking people for posting the ending to Final Fantasy VII Remake. Um, and it's pretty serious, I guess. Again, this is coming from, from One Angry Gamer. Uh, the ending for Final Fantasy VII Remake is a highly controversial one because it rewrites the events of the game's lore. We, we talked about this in a previous video. Uh, it sets the stage for the second episode to take a completely different route than what played out in the original game. That's not exactly a remake, is it? I'm just just a nitpick. I'm not saying the game's bad. Actually, what we played of the game, it's pretty damn good. But it's basically Final Fantasy 16 with Final Fantasy 7 characters at this point. Um, and they promised people a remake. In fact, they had the trailer a couple years ago. I remember the trailer at E3. Everybody was super excited. The promise is kept. The promise has been kept. We're going to give you your HD Final Fantasy 7 remake. And no. No, they're not giving us a, a remake. They're giving us a complete reboot. But that doesn't mean it's a bad game. I'm just saying it is what it is. Uh, people aren't too fond of the change, and the people who upload the ending are risking being sued by Square Enix if they attempt to challenge the publisher for issuing copyright strikes against channels for posting the ending. Uh, one YouTuber, uh, the same guy who got uh, this guy, uh, Shiraco, got attacked by SJWs and has channel temporarily banned for posting a video of a lady getting dragged around by an alligator in Red Dead Redemption 2. I think I, I vaguely remember that. Uh, anyway, they posted a tweet containing a notice from Square warning content creators who received a free copy, received a free copy about posting content that they forbade in the embargo. The notice also threatens legal action for those who attempt to file counter notices against Square's copyright strikes. Okay, so here's where I'm confused. Uh, is it just the ending? Is it just the ending and is it just people who 
you know, uh, signed an NDA to get a review copy, to get an advanced copy. I'm not clear because I can't find the ending on YouTube. Uh, got confirmation that Square Enix is threatening to sue people that upload the ending of Final Fantasy VII Remake. This is unforgivable. We bought the game. Oh, we bought the game and we're not allowed to finish Let's Play and streams or we'll get sued. So this is for people who actually purchased the game. I'm done covering Square Enix games. Uh, this is coming from Square Enix. This is legal and intellectual property division Square Enix company. The content uploaded infringes on our copyright. The unauthorized content does not constitute fair use of the intellectual property, even if the user purchased the game at retail. In addition, the uploaded content specifically violates the material usage license because it includes content the players were prohibited from natively capturing on the PS4. See section one, the final two paragraphs of the material usage license. Therefore, you should retract. You should retract your counter notice. If you're unwilling to do this, Square Enix must reserve all rights, including the right to pursue legal action against you. What a dick move, Square Enix. I have been buying Final Fantasy games whenever the first one came out for the NES. I bought it when I was a kid. Uh, I purchased every Final Fantasy game, uh, except for some of the side. But I, I purchased pretty much every Final Fantasy game. Uh, love Final Fantasy. Love Final Fantasy. Well, didn't love 13 and 15, but whatever. This pisses me off. This pisses me off because, you know, I really had my reservations about Final Fantasy VII Remake because of this whole uh, issue with it being a reboot and not actually a remake. But this is a serious dick move. Okay? Uh, I don't think we're going to be playing Final Fantasy VII Remake anymore in the channel. I don't know if I want to promote Square Enix products anymore. I mean, we went to bat for you guys on multiple occasions on the main channel because we've always been Square Enix fans. This is a serious dick move. I mean, this is right up there. I mean, this is worse than Nintendo taking people's money. I mean, you're threatening to you're threatening to take legal action against people because they spoil the ending. Because you know what's going to happen, right? They're going to spoil the ending and people are going to realize that you did lie. You said you promised people a remake and it's not a remake, it's a reboot. So uh, to hell with it. If you can't view the full message, here it is. I've checked Shiraco's playlist for Final Fantasy VII Remake. You'll notice that the video 23 in the playlist is private and not made available because it's the ending. Uh, thankfully, there are some backups. No. No, it's gone too. His video has been available since April 16th. There's no telling how long it'll stay stay up. It's not, it's not there. If you search up the ending on YouTube, you'll notice a lot of videos are about discussing the ending rather than actually showing the ending. It's not because Square wants to preserve surprise. It's because Square knows this is going to damage sales of the game because Final Fantasy VII Remake is not a true remake. They should have called it something else. How hard would it have been to call it like Final Fantasy VII Reunion, Final Fantasy VII Redo, Rebuild of Final Fantasy VII? You know... Final Fantasy VII, the spooky time ghosts. And we're going to talk about the time ghosts uh, here. I don't know how long Square plans on keeping up the copyright vigilantism. This is, uh, again, coming from One Angry Gamer against anyone who posts the ending for Final Fantasy VII Remake. But it really gives critics a huge leg up in being right about Tetsuo Nomura changing a classic game to suit his own ego rather than sticking to making a faithful remake of a classic JRPG. Yeah, and Final Fantasy VII wasn't just his to change. Remember, guys, the story was very much the Gooch's. Uh, it was very much his story, as I understand it. He wrote the story for Final Fantasy VII. Again, it's been a while since uh, I've looked into the behind-the-scenes stuff. Design, an original story, producer, the Gooch. There we go. Um, so it wasn't really Nomura's to change. Um the way he did uh you know so this is you know and not that i have anything against uh namara uh you know i i like some of his stuff but the game feels very kingdom hearts doesn't it uh, it does if you've played it uh one thing's for sure there's certainly going to be a lot of chatter heading into the second episode uh of remake uh, i'm going to use air quotes for that given 
that has completely diverged from what fans expected. Again, they said literally in the trailer for this thing, the very first trailer, the promise has been kept. We're remaking Final Fantasy VII after you guys have hounded us for like 15, 20 years. We're remaking this game and they're not doing it. Again, that does not mean the game is bad. Uh, we have played the game. I'm actually as very, very impressed with what I've seen of it so far. But suing or threatening to sue YouTubers who post the ending is just batshit deplorable. It's not even crazy. It's just deplorable. So let's talk real quick about what these changes are. So the story for the most part, you know, at least what we played of it does follow the original Final Fantasy VII. However, there are some slight divergences from the original game. And when these divergences happened, it's basically explained that these Dementor creatures are there to keep the story on track, that they are there to make sure that uh, it hits all the story beats that it did on the PS1, right? Uh, these things, which is weird because when we were playing it, I'm like, what the hell is going on with the Dementors? They were not in the game. Uh, granted, they were going to change things, but they weren't in the game. It turns out that they are whispers. They're whispers. Okay, so anytime there's a divergence from the original game, the Dementors show up. Um, so the game ends with the gang. Well, I'm going to tell you what the ending is. Am I going to get struck? Are you coming after me, Square? This is from CNET. You're going you're gonna to go after CNET? Throughout the game, they talk about these whispers, these Dementors, and it turns out that Aerith and Sephiroth are aware of them multiple timelines. This is like alternate timeline Final Fantasy. The game ends with the gang deciding to leave Midgar to stop Sephiroth, just like the original, but now, with the whispers being eliminated, major elements of the story will change as the whispers won't be around to keep fate in line. From here on out, subsequent games in the 7 Remake Project won't follow the original story as closely as the game did. Yeah, including including Zack surviving. Zack has survived. Uh, is Aerith going to survive too? You know what's going to happen here? It's strongly suggested that Remake takes place in a separate timeline. We see a shot of, of a chip packet with Shinra's stamp mascot on the dog in this uh it's complicated <laughs> anyway anyway the helmet wearing beagle stamp we saw throughout seven remake it's a border terrier wearing a green hat outside of this it's not 100 percent clear what zach's survival means Aerith in the same spot overlooking midgar but in seven's remake timeline seems to sense zach so zach is alive and there he's gonna be in the the remake the sequel so in other words final fantasy 7 remake part 2 won't really be a remake at all this is not what fans were promised. Again, not a bad game, but it's bullshit. It's just bullshit all the way around. And it's definitely bullshit uh, to threaten to sue people for posting the ending. Um, because look, it's you've tipped your hands, guys. This is not a remake. Not at all. And you know what? I don't even know if I want to play this game anymore. I'm going to be honest. Uh, not if they're going to use draconian uh, methods like this. I don't know. I really have to think about it. So I'm going to wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.